fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're going to be taking a look at Megabox MB20 Donatello and MB21 Leonardo from 52 Toys. So these are very similar to the Beast Box toys that 52 Toys makes, but they have some licensed brands as well, and they have done the Ninja Turtles. I've actually been looking for these for a while. They're quite old at this point, and I got lucky and found them on Mandarake of all places for a pretty reasonable price. They were kind of sold out everywhere or really expensive, so I got lucky and found these too, which is really cool. Uh, packaging, really, really neat. I like the artwork here. You can see we have a little window with the figure inside. Uh, up top here, it shows you the figure. Then there are two different modes. So there's like a party wagon mode that you can combine them together to make the party wagon, which is really cool. And then there's the normal box mode here. So I believe any of the figures can become either the front or the back of the party wagon. Because at first I was afraid that I got two that only transformed into the front and I wouldn't be able to make the party wagon. But looking at this, it looks like it can do either one. Now, I don't know if that means it's going to become one of these and, you know, there's different ones. I'll have to wait until I get into the instructions. Not really much going on at the bottom here. This just says Mega Box over here. Then you have a little uh, bio of Donatello, which is fun. And then taking a look at the back here. Now here it shows him as the container and Raphael as the truck. So I don't know, because on the back of Leonardo, it says the same. So maybe I got unlucky and these two really do both become the container and I won't be able to form the party wagon. That's very possible. Uh, but I'm hoping that I can do one of each here but like i said when i get into the instructions i'll know for sure but yeah the packaging is really cool i like these a lot I, I thought these were neat for a while like i said i've been looking for them so i finally found some so i thought hey let's take a look at them so i'm gonna get them out of the box here and we'll take a closer look so here are the two figures out of the packaging i think they look really really cool i like how they're different shades of green i think that's really fun and you know they kind of the shade of green matches nicely with their overall color scheme Leo has these two katana here, and we see that Donnie has the bow staff, which is really nice. They have the little belt emblems with their initial, which is fun. The eyes are painted nicely. I like how they each have different expressions as well. Don kind of has like a softer expression, and Leo's got a little bit of teeth showing there, which is fun. Uh, the bandana pieces are on little ball joints, so you can move them all around and do what you like with them. I just kind of put them in these little poses here. I think that's really cool that you can move those around. Uh, the head is on a ball joint and a hinge, so you can go back, you can go forward a little bit. The ball joints for the heads though are very, very tight. You can hear how tight that is and that kind of scares me. They didn't start out that tight, but just kind of the more I've been playing with them, you think they would get looser, but they've gotten tighter, which is weird. So that just kind of scares me. But hopefully that holds up. Uh, we have a ball joint here in the shoulder. So you can go out all the way, down, rotate around. And of course, he's going to drop the katana because that's just sitting in the hand. It just kind of sits in there loosely. It's not a problem, but it's not really like, like if you put it upside down. Oh, now he's wanting now see, there it goes. So they do just kind of rest in there, but that's fine. Uh, now, with the kind of bicep, you do have another ball joint there, but you can't really get much out of it. You kind of just get a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees there in the elbow. I'm going to take the katana out for now just so they don't fall out again. Uh, the wrist is on a mushroom peg, so you can swivel that around. Uh, you don't really have any articulation in the body because that's kind of how everything transforms. In the hips, you have this hinge down here, so you can kind of bring them up or bring them down a little bit, so you have a little bit of motion there. And then you have a ball joint at the actual hip. Uh, you have a knee there, and you have a rotation as well. So that's kind of like your thigh swivel and a 90 degree bend. This piece here you can kind of pull out, but that's really more for transformation. Uh, and then you have a ball joint down here for the ankle, and then you can move the two toes together, again, really for transformation and the heel as well. But that can help you with some posing. So they're, they're fun little figures. I think they look really, really cool. Uh, the shell here on the back. Now they have you pull the shell piece down here. I guess that's just to cover more area. Or you can just kind of push this all up. I don't know. I don't really know what purpose that serves. I guess it's really just to cover a little bit more area. Just so that, you know, the legs aren't so unexposed, I guess. Just to kind of make this seem like the right proportions. You can also use these little pieces here to store the katana. So if you want to put these on Leo's back, you can go ahead and pop these on here. They're a little difficult. Oh, there it goes. Not too bad. 
Now, obviously you can't put them like at a 45 degree angle like I'd prefer, but I still think it's cool that you can mount them on here so he can have the two katana back there, which is pretty cool. They do have this obvious hinge and that's so you can store them in the cube mode. But I still think they look pretty good. They're nicely painted. The whole sword is a nice silver paint. And you can pop this off if you would like. That's for storage later on. But yeah, I think they work. And they're just kind of mirror images of each other. They look pretty good. So I'm going to put that off to the side there. And then we have Donnie. This articulation's exactly the same. Here's the bow staff. It has these little connection ports. It's a little tight there. Uh, but on the other side, it's clean. So you can put it on either side. I like to try to align those. These all come apart, but I like to align them so that those slits are all on one side so you can have a nice clean side over here. But yeah, otherwise articulation's all the same. There's the little belt buckle there for him. Uh, you can take this and put this on the back as well in the exact same way that you would mount the katana for Leonardo. Just peg that on there. And you can just kind of have that on the side if you like. And that works. And I'll put that off to the side now. And then, like I said, his head's just really tight as well. I don't know why these are so tight. And it really worries me. Maybe over time they'll get a little better. But, yeah. They're two really cool looking figures. And they do come with these little boxes here to store them once we get them into box mode. Which I'll do the transformation for in a moment. Uh, but you get these two little boxes. They can kind of connect together like this. They just sandwich together, no problem there. But they have the cool little TMNT, like, manhole cover logo. It says Box Charger. Uh, this flips down. And then you can also stack these like this as well if you want. And I do have the uh, Stegosaurus that I did. It's compatible with that as well. So if you have a whole bunch of these, you can connect all the boxes together for storage. And I think that's pretty cool. And I just like the color scheme for these. The green, the yellow... The paint applications, a little bit of gray, everything I think looks really solid. Just be a little careful when you connect these, uh, taking them apart again. There we go. But yeah, so I'm just going to put these off to the side. We'll bring these back in after we go through the transformation. So I'm just going to do it with one turtle. I guess I'll do it with Leonardo. And then I will show you the... Uh, I'll, then I'll transform Donatello and then show you the weapon storage on him. But I will just use Leonardo to actually transform all right, so the first thing we're going to do is take the little bandana pieces, and you can see that there's a little tab slot on the side of the head, and there's a little tab right there. So we're just going to bring these in, and these will tab in there. No problem. Then we are going to unhook the arms. You can see this dark gray piece. That's going to unpeg like that as we flip that out to the side. Then we're going to move the arms and the legs out of the way so we can grab onto the side belt piece, and we're going to unpeg that and just bring that away from the body like so and that will allow you to take this entire back section here and just pop that all the way down there like so uh, so the first thing we are going to do we are going to flip down this whole front section and that will allow you to pull these out there's a little piece right here that is going to flip around and peg in to fill in that empty space then you're going to pull these apart and then flip this back up right like that that will allow you to rotate these pieces in. So they were here on the side, and then you're just going to push them in like that. Then we can get the arms ready. So we're going to put these straight out to the side like so. You're going to want to rotate these like this, I believe. It always takes me a minute to, to figure out the arms, but it's kind of intuitive, which is nice. You're going to fold the elbow pad back like this. I believe then we rotate this down. You're going to pull the arm away, and then that's going to fold down like that. So what we want is when we bring this in, this is going to fit in here. You can see that there's a little spot right here and here, and this is going to peg in on itself. And then there's a tiny little peg right there, which is going to peg into this little spot on the side of the arm. So if we bring this back out, we're going to fold this around on that double jointed elbow peg that in and then when we bring this in as I drop it when we bring this in that little peg spot right there is going to go on that little peg right there so we're going to bring this in and peg that in just like that so we're going to 
duplicate that over here. I believe this goes like this. And then this we pull away and push down. This is going to fold in like that. And then this comes in and everything pegs in very nicely like that. So that's kind of the top section of the cube. Now we come to this back section and probably wondering what all this weird uh, dark gray pieces are. They are going to completely fold out like this. And I'll be honest, the main reason for these is for the combined uh, turtle van, party wagon, whatever you want to call it, for that combined mode. But we have somewhere to put them in the cube mode as well. So now we have to rotate the head around 180 degrees, and it scares me every time. As you can hear, that is terribly loud. Uh, we are going to, you can see right here, this is going to kind of pop back and unpeg. You're going to fold these sections down so that this can rotate around. And then inside here, there is a tiny little peg right there, which is going to peg into the back of the head right there. So pop this up, peg that in nice and tight, then push these in as far as they'll go. And then you rotate these pieces up and what they do, oh, and if you have the shell extended, you want to make sure you're pushing that all up as well. So you can see that there's a little peg spot there and a little, little peg hole right there. These really just kind of form like these weird little corners for the shell. I think just to make it look a little bit more box-like and just somewhere to put them in this mode, really. But you just kind of make these little corners here on the shell. That's really all that those do. Now you're going to bring this down and then this is going to come in and the two little tabs right here are going to tab into those little tabs right there. So you're going to bring that in and connect all of that. There we go. That's nice and connected. Okay, now we're going to get onto the legs here. We're going to bring them down. We have to grab this entire belt section. You can kind of see how it's a second panel. And this is going to pull away from the body like so. Come on, there we go. So that pulls away and then we need to spin this around. You want to kind of move these out of the way like this so that you can rotate this whole section around. And this is the thing I find the most trouble with in terms of just clearance issues. It's not a huge problem, but it can be a little annoying. You can kind of bring these a little bit in. There's kind of these secondary little hinges inside there. And once you spin that around, you can just kind of leave that sit there for now. So now we're going to come to the legs. We are going to fold down the toes and the heels. And you can see how they kind of make like a nice, perfect little uh, area triangle down there. We're going to spin this around at the thigh cut or thigh swivel. Then we are going to kind of bring this down kind of around like this just to get it out of the way. Um, we are going to... Oh, this piece falls off on mine a lot. I'll worry about that in a minute. So we're going to bring this in, and then we need to rotate this. And then this whole section, you can see that there's a little tab slot right there, and there's a little tab right here. And this is going to come up, and I always do this wrong with the foot the first time. Yeah, I did it wrong again. So this is going to rotate like this. This comes around, and there's a little tab spot right there, and a little tab right there. So kind of very similar to what we did with the arms. And then this whole thing is going to come up and peg in, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot, rotate the knee band down, and then that pegs in really nice and securely like that. So we're going to do the same thing here again. We're gonna bring this up and peg that in, and then I have to bring the foot out like this, and then bring this around, and this is gonna pop up and then rotate that knee band down, and then that is gonna tab in there like so. Then we're going to take this, and there is a little peg there that we're going to peg in. So that goes down like that. These will rotate around, and you can see that there's a tab right there, which is going to tab in right there, and that's really nice and secure once you get that done. Now you can see here that there's this extra little piece inside here. It's kind of on a slide, and it always pops off of this on mine. I don't know why, it just does. Let me make sure I'm putting this back on correctly. 
and then bring this around and peg this in there. And then the last touch is to just take this panel and flip it around and that will tab in to the foot. There we go. So bring this around and sit that. And there you go. There is our turtle cube. I think it works really well. We're going to take the katana. We are going to take these pieces off. And then we are going to utilize those hinges just like that. And then we are going to pop these on like this, just like so. And then we're going to fold this and pop this on just like so and then rotate that out just like that and then this part's actually really cool so uh it's a little bit easier if you unpeg this so you can kind of pop the foot out a little bit then you're going to peg in the bottom of the katana into the foot and then this is going to come down and you can see that there's a tiny little spot right there that that little tab is going to sit in just like that and then you can close this back up so again, come over here, flip this out, flip the little toe, peg this in like so, and then bring this down. That'll sit there and then close this up. And there you go. We have our Leonardo Turtle Cube with all the weapons and everything perfectly stored. And then if we bring in the Donatello Cube, the transformation is exactly the same. So I just went ahead and did that. But I wanted to show you how to store the weapons. So we're going to take this take these off. These are going to peg in the exact same spot as the katana. So we're just going to tab that in right there and then kind of bring it to the side so it kind of, you know, forms that side of the box there. And then this is going to peg in right there. And then we're going to do something very similar where we're going to pop this open, lift up the little foot so that we can peg in this piece of the bow staff. And then this is just going to come down and we're going to have to open this one up as well. So that we can kind of lift this up a little bit, bring this down, and then peg that in. So it'll actually peg in between the feet. And then we can close this back up. And there you go. We have our two turtle cubes with complete weapon storage. We can open up these little pieces right here. And they will slide perfectly in. And then close them up so you have these cool little storage containers. I just think that's so fun. How uh, just perfectly they slide right into these. And they're universal, so that means every beast box has kind of the same dimensions in box mode, which I think is really cool. And then you can want you can sandwich these together. So that's really cool. I think that's a lot of fun. And these little uh turtle boxes I think are really neat. Uh, but we're not even done yet because we can, of course, form the party wagon. So I mentioned earlier in the review that I was worried that you know, you could only make the, the front half or the back half. But since these are pretty much universal and the transformations are exactly the same, these can become either. So, you know, Donnie can be either the front or the back. Leo can be the front or the back. It doesn't matter. I'll just pick one randomly and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and do that transformation. All right, so transforming them into the turtle van or party wagon is really simple. You can use either one for either half. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Donnie here for the front we're going to start by unhooking these pieces from the front here. And then we're going to kind of swivel these down. And you can see that there are these little spots right here. And there are these little pegs on the inside. You're going to kind of bring these around and peg those in to those. Come on. There we go. And then you can slide these two pieces together and they will form the front bumper like that. This whole section is going to come down and this little peg right here is going to peg in right there. So we're going to fold this section down and bring this down. This will form the front headlights and then also reveal the front windshield there. Now we have to kind of take this entire little leg section here out. So we're going to just kind of grab a hold of this, and it can be a little easier said than done. But just kind of rotate this out slightly for the time being, so that we can then flip these pieces around for the side windows. And then we're going to close this back up. And then we're going to take this wheel section here and slide this down. And this can be a little difficult to do. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get a good grip on it. But this needs to slide down, and you'll hear it snap into place. And if anything pops out while you're doing that, just push it back. 
And then we're going to repeat the same thing over here. So tilt this out temporarily so we can swivel this around, push that back in, and then grab a hold of the wheel section here and pop that down. There you go. That's the whole front of the turtle van. Now we have to kind of unhook this temporarily so that we can pop all these pieces straight up and then swivel them to the side. I guess technically you don't have to unhook that. Let me put that back together there. There we go. So unhook all of these little gray pieces and swivel them down and around like that. And then you just want to put them about there and that half is done. Coming around to this piece, we're going to swivel these down again. Only this time, they're going to come down and peg into these two little spots right here. So bring this down, peg that in there. Peg that in there. And then I guess you can put these together if you want to. The directions don't really say to, but I'm going to just for consistency's sake. And then these wheels are actually going to swivel downward like this. And then you have to pop them down again. Pop them back. Actually, I guess we have to pop them back first. So pop that down and then swivel this around. Like this, and this piece came off again because it always does. So bring that like that, and then hook this piece back on. And there we go. And that is the back section. So all we're going to do is take these pieces here. There are two little pegs, and they are going to peg into these spots right here and here. And then lift these up and peg these on this side. The connection is not the strongest, but it's good enough. And there you go. There is your turtle van slash party wagon. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, for what they were able to do, it rolls really well, which is nice. It has the front fender here. It has the back bumper. It's got the little spoiler. You can see that kind of built in. There's not really a great way to raise that up. I mean, technically you can push this back but it doesn't really do anything so just leave it in there but yeah there you go there is your little turtle van i think it works pretty well i think that's really fun a nice little extra mode that they built in i think it's pretty solid i think these are a lot of fun i think the turtle modes look good nice paint applications i know a lot of it's just different colors of molded plastic but it still all really works i appreciate that they made the turtles two different tones of green I think that really works. I like the accessories they come with. The conversion to the cube mode is not too bad, especially after you do it once or twice. It's easy to get the hang of it. I really appreciate that they threw in the vehicle mode as well. If you have two of them, that can combine together. It's also really nice that since the molds are identical, any of the turtles can be the front or the back of the vehicle mode, so that's really fun. Just all in all, I think these are really nice. The only thing that worries me about these is how tight the ball joints for the heads have gotten. I think that's kind of weird because, like I said, right out the box, they weren't that tight. But they just got really tight really fast, so hopefully that's not going to be a problem later on. Other than that, I think these are a lot of fun. I'll probably have to track down Raphael and Michelangelo at some point. But uh, yeah, if you can find these for a reasonable price, I think they're worth checking out, especially if you're a big Turtle fan like me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.